everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build we went video game when we built Fiora's Knife from Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, super cool. And if you missed that build, we're going to include the link in the description below to our channel's homepage so you can go there and check out Fiora's Knife um, or any of the other cool builds we have there. Now for this build, we're going to actually stay video game. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> yes! Look at that. Good golly. It's the Hydra from Resident Evil. That's right. Look at that. Three barrels of awesomeness right there. That is chock full of radical. Look at that thing. Wood on the handle, wood on the body. We've got all the uh, oxidized black metal with the gray areas, scratched up little edges all around it. We got the cool beam taped to the bottom. Super jamming. That thing is so great. Oh, I love this thing. Wow. Very cool. So in this episode, Making an EVA Foam Hydra Part 1, we're going to begin going step by step through how to make it. And uh, if you want to build your own along with us, we've got a template for this. So we'll include the link in the description below to our storefront also. So you can go yank a template if you want. Um, if not, that's cool too. Um, so if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, we're going to start our Hydra by building the body piece. All right, so what we're going to do is here's the first part of our body. This needs to be two inches thick. So we're gonna layer up some foam. We've got a three quarters, which is 18 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, and another three quarters. So we've got two 18 millimeters and a 12 millimeter. We're gonna stick those together to get our two inches. And we also have this six millimeter piece we're gonna do as well. So we're gonna begin by gluing these all together. All right, there we go. Now you know the drill. Let both sides dry, then after it dries, the cement can make contact. All right, there we go. Two inches thick. Holy cow. Now they... All right, now because it's so thick, we're going to move over to the scroll saw and we're going to knock it out. There we go. Now we can make sure that our length is proper. Right there. All right, that's our new adjusted mark. And cut through. All right, right there and right there. All right, there. All right, there we go. Perfectly flush right there. All right, let's get this end down first. So we know we're perfectly centered, and we are. We're, we're flush up against here, and we're centered here and here. Now we can push the middle down. All right. All right, now we transferred our pattern over because the back end of this central body piece needs to taper in right here. So we're gonna make these two cuts on the bandsaw. All right, here we go. Now we've got a 36 millimeter piece of foam. That's an inch and a half. All right, check that out. Now this is gonna be coming in and attaching right to the back of here, like so. Before we attach this, let's check, all right? Looks like we're a hair long, all right? So let's do this. Right there is our... All right, we're going to have to slice that off on the bandsaw so that it's the perfect width to fit right in there. All right, there we go. We cut it a little more narrow. Let's see if it fits. Perfect. That's the perfect dimension right there. All right, now before we attach this, we're going to come in with our Dremel 
and we're gonna soften up the edges of this piece and we're gonna soften up the bottom and the top edge of this piece. Let's come in with our 220 sanding stick. Let's take some of these bandsaw marks off of here. All right, let's seal it. All right, there we go. Our foam is tightened up. We've got a nice, smooth, round edge there. All right, there we go. Give it a minute. Line this up flush right on that corner and that corner. There we go. Now let's flip it around this way. Let's make sure we're lined up on that side, which we are. Now let's come over to this side and do the same thing. There we go. All right, dig that. Looks like one body piece with the rounded edge on it. Really nice and super easy. All right. All right, here we go. Now we're going to begin doing our three barrels. All right, we've got three 18 millimeter EVA foam dowels, and then we've got our three millimeter pieces that we're going to wrap the barrels with. All right. Okay, now before we cut any more of these, we just have to say that we did a test wrap. When you're doing a wrap, you always do a test wrap. So we cut a piece of foam the same thickness and we wrapped it so that we know that this is the measurement that will cause this to wrap around and connect. All right. Okay, now what we did is we drew this line right down the center. So when we bring our dowel in, we can set it right smack dab in the center. All right, now we're gonna come right down there and do the same thing. All right, there we go. Now it's roughly centered. Okay, now we're, now we're, connect our seam, just like that, all the way down, pinching it together. All right, now we're just going to go along, we're going to pinch it wherever there's a tiny gap. Okay, so we know we're anchored and we're in really great shape. Now we're just going to finish walking right down this side. All right, now we're going to roll it real tight. All right, that's a pretty darn good seam. It's hard to do with such a tiny little dowel, but like we said, this seam is going to go down at the bottom like that. All right, all right here's our three all wrapped. And what we're going to be doing too is we're going to be cutting the end of our barrel off at the proper length. And then we're going to be adding this to the front. All right. And we're doing this because we want to poke the holes through it so it looks like a barrel. So that's a 12 millimeter piece. We've got our sharpened brass tube. So we're going to look at how crisp that hole is. That is crazy perfect. Let's sharpen it up again, just to make sure it's top notch. Look at that. Wow, man, that's a thick piece of foam and that goes right through there. Those... Okay, now we're gonna take this over to the band saw and the scroll saw and we're gonna cut it out. All right, there we go. Check that out. Almost perfect. We can clean it up a little bit with the Dremel, but we did that so that we can come in and attach all three of our barrels right up to this piece right here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put seam up and seam up. All right. Attach all the way down just like that. All right.
<laughs> All right, there's our seams. That's going to go on the bottom. And our three. All right, there we go. There's our cut mark right there. And there. That's 10 and 11 sixteenths. Now we're going to take this over to the bandsaw and we're going to knock it out. All right, there we go. Check it out. Beautiful. Now that's going to come in and sit right on there. Wow. And it's flush at the front. Okay, now. Line up our outer edge. We're going to try to line up our barrel all the way around. Flush on the edge. And we're going to, actually we can flip this around and we can go like this. So we know we are perfectly centered and exactly where we want to be. All right, so we're attached back here and we're attached down here. Now all we have to do is come in and push down. All right, now that's looking good, except we have one big problem and it's this. We did not roll this barrel around far enough to hide the seam and we can see this great big nasty seam. I'm really unhappy about that. That is a very ugly seam. Let's see if we can pinch it together a little bit. Oh. All right, thankfully there's contact cement in there. And we're able to pinch it back together. Just like that. There we go. We saved it for the most part. Wow, that's 95% saved. Sweet. All right, look at that, man. The thing is crazy awesome. Oh. All right, what we did is you can see some of the dry contact cement. And the Dremel is awesome for taking that residue off so you can't even see it. So we really cleaned up in here nice. All right, that's looking good. All right, see there's some on the bottom. Let's take that off. There we go, beautiful. We got all the residue off. Wow, that's clean. All right, now we're gonna come in with this four millimeter and this 18 millimeter. We're gonna attach them because that's how thick we need this piece. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna cut this out, all right, on the scroll saw. All right, there we go. We rounded the top off. Now let's come in with our 220 sanding stick. Let's smooth it out. All right, let's come in with our 320 and see if we can get it even smoother. We're gonna seal it. Get it tightened up. And we're gonna carefully slide right through. All right, there we go. Now, this piece should come in. Oh, yeah, check that out. That is a nice look. All right, we're going to come in with our super glue. We're going to smooth it out. 
And we shouldn't be doing this without gloves. Line it up at the bottom. Get our piece right on there. Okay, now if you notice, the little roundovers right here and right here stick up past the top of this, there and there. And you can see the top end of the barrels right there, which doesn't look finished. But it's okay, we plan for that. We've got this template right here. We're going to cut out a foam. It's going to slide right in here, and it's going to be raised up higher than all of these, so it's going to make it look very finished. And that's right up against that side and we're going to do the same thing here we're going to get it right up against that side beautiful let's lay it down right in the middle where we cemented all right there we go check it out now what we did is now you can't see the back end of the barrels and you can't see the top of our roundovers so it looks like a finished piece very cool. All right, now we've got a 12 millimeter and a 4 millimeter piece. We're gonna... Beautiful, look at that. Nice little cut. Wow. All right, there we go. Look at that. Nice bevel there. Let's just clean up this. A little side of it right there and there nice look at that cool edge right there line it up on this side and we're going to line it up on that side Squeeze out off of the front. This thing's really coming together. Check that out, man. Nice with that cool little taper at the front end right there. Really cool. Okay, we're going to take this 12 millimeter piece. We are going to knock it out with our box cutter. All right, there we go. 12 millimeter. Now we're going to come in. And we're going to take this little piece of our template right here and we're going to transfer it over to the side. All right, we're going to cut it out of the side. Let's transfer our line. There we go. There we go. Just keep your knife at a 90 degree angle. Okay. Now, how are we going to get this piece cut? We're going to have to use the bandsaw for this because that's too tall. Really cool. All right, now we're going to come in and do a second cut on it. Okay, now we're going to cut from this mark to this front corner and from this mark to that front corner. All right. Wait a minute. What the... All right, we screwed up. We're supposed to cut this much, much thinner. All right, here we go. We've got our cool side cut, and then we've got it tapered so it goes skinny. All right, now this is gonna come in here, and it's gonna attach right on there like that. All right, but first we're gonna do a little circle detail that goes right in front of it. All right, we're gonna use one of these six millimeter pieces. All right, we're gonna use our brass tube. We're gonna go right through just like that. Sweet, look at that, perfect little round button. We're going to get our super glue out. I'm 
right there. We're going to slice that front piece off. Okay, now when we come in, it's going to go right into the back of there and look legit. All right. We're going to put it right up against our circle right there. And then we're going to center this down on our piece. Wow, look at that. Man, we got that sweet round button. Look at this. We've got the little bevel at the front. We've got the rounded button. We've got this cool lever that tapers this way to the front. And it's got that cool side cut. And we just sharpen down the front of it a little bit so it looks like it goes right into the back of that little circle. That is a sweet bunch of detail on there. Nice. Okay, now what we did is we transferred our template line right there and right there. And this is going to be a really simple little detail. We're coming in with a super sharp X-Acto knife. And we are going to make a cut right here. Alright, so we're going to come in. We'll go. Then we're going to come into this side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stick our knife in, stand the knife up. We're going to cut all the way around our Sharpie line right to there. All right. right there. All right, we're going to match right up with the end of our line on this side. All right, perfect. We're going to get out the heat gun. We're going to open up this crease, all right? So it's going to make this look like two separate pieces. Sweet. All right, here we go. Now we're going to make our handle. We've got two 12 millimeters and two 4 millimeters. All right. All right, there we go. There's our handle ready to get down. All right, we're gonna take this over to the scroll saw and we are gonna knock it out. All right, there we go. Dig it. That is really cool. All right, now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this square all the way to this line and we're gonna leave it square all the way to this line. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start shaping from here back and from here back. All right, and then when we're done shaping these two ends on both sides, we're going to come in and get just a little bit done in here just to contour it a little bit. So, all right, all right here we go. You know what we always say, don't be a dumb dumb. Wear a dust mask every time you're going to Dremel, okay? All right, we've got our super aggressive, crazy bit on because we want to chew off a lot of material, all right? Then we'll come in with our smoother bit and we'll clean it up. Sweet. Now let's take off the beast a bit. Let's get our smooth bit in and let's start cleaning it up. That is sweet. All right, man, I'm loving that. Loving it. All right, here we go with our 220. All right, here we go. Let's tighten it up. Nice and smooth and contoured. 
and we kept it square and flat where the trigger is going to go. We kept it square and flat at the top. Really nice. All right, now we are going to clean this disaster area up, and then we're going to... Okay, now we're going to make two cuts on here. All right, we're going to cut the bottom off, and we're going to round the edges so that when we put it back together, it looks like two separate pieces, and we're going to cut this out. All right, we'll do both on the bandsaw. All right, there's our bottom piece. Here's our top piece. What we're gonna do first, all right, there we go. All right, now the, here's the problem, all right? This is gonna fit on there beautifully, but we accidentally stuck this down first. We were supposed to stick this down after, but this is contact cement. So we can use our thinner, we can take this back piece and lift it up, slide this in, and re-stick it back down. All right, but first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this butt end of the handle, and we're gonna dremel around the edges to get a nice round detail. Line it up at the front. And we're going to line it up at the back. That's what we wanted. That nice little detail right there. Sweet. All right. All right, there we go. There's some thinner. Okay, we're just getting a tiny little bit of, of thinner right up against the edge right there. All right, here we go. It's coming up. We're going to pull this back. We're going to stick this all right. We're going to hold it down while the bonds. We're going to come in here and get our squeeze out off of there. All right, there we go. You saw how we came in and we did a little bit of surgery and we got this piece right here lifted up so we could put our handle on and then we laid it back down. Not bad. Not <laughs> yeah, wow, man. We crammed like 95% of the build in in that one episode. Uh, you saw how everything went down pretty good. Uh, we had one little mishap back here with the body where we stuck the the lever down before we were supposed to, but you saw how we got it up, slipped our handle in, laid it back down, no problem. Um, and a couple little things we had to fix too, like we could see our seam underneath our barrel, but we fixed that, that wasn't a problem. Um, not bad. Um, that's about it. That concludes making an EVA foam Hydra part one. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.